Who says it's Justin and it's Jimmy's to back on a video and this is episode 14 for College Football 25 and it's been about two weeks since the last episode came out. I've been super busy. Uh, yes, this, my ear is still clogged so I can't hear. I can't really hear out of my right ear at the moment. But we are going against Akron once again in the MAC championship. So, but this was my stats for this season. 3,514 passing yards, 36 touchdowns, and only 11 interceptions. Now, we, even if we win the national championship with the Bowling Green Falcons, we will be transferring to another team for my junior season. Let's just check the other, uh, the other players on the Bowling Green Falcons. So, rushing... Teron Stewart with a good 2,082 rushing yards and 26 touchdowns. Receiving Garcia. No one had a 1,000 yard receiving season this year. But RJ Garcia had 832 for 8 touchdowns. McNeil had 814 for 7. Walker had 803 for 8. Johnson had 378 for 7. Williams had 312 for 2. Stewart had 263 for 2, Barmore had 86 for 1, Harris had 33 for 1, and Thigpen had 21 for 0. Yeah, um, we are, if you don't remember, we are in the college football playoffs, um, which is amazing. We would be going against Clemson, uh, Next episode, I believe, if we win against the uh, Akron in the MAC Championship. Heisman finalist, Stewart actually came in second. Uh, it was because of the last week against Akron. He didn't get that many rushing yards, which kind of made him go down. He was supposed to be the Heisman winner. But that last game against Akron so this is our schedule we went undefeated so FCS East we went 66 to 3 Fresno 55 to 20 Louisville 31 to 7 Toledo 20 to 21 UMass 16 to 13 Central Michigan 38 to 3 Buffalo 38 to 14 Ohio 55 to 0 North Illinois it's 42 to 3 Kent State 49 to 21, Eastern Michigan 55 to 10, and Akron 35 to 14. Let's see. Uh, with rushing, with Stewart, yeah, Stewart only had 90 rushing yards. If he had, I think over 100, he could have been the Heisman winner. He could have been the Heisman winner. I'm. I'm positive. I am positive that he would have been the Heisman winner. If he had over 100 or 100 rushing yards. Yeah, if he had a, over 100 rushing yards that game, definitely. Um... But let's check the award finalist. So obviously Stewart would have been Heisman. Coach of the year. We have coach of the year. We don't have best quarterback. Obviously we don't even come in the top 12. Best defensive player. We have none. Best defensive back. We have none. Best running back. Stewart wins that though. Best receiver. We don't win that. Okay. We don't win that. Defensive end, we don't. Best tight end, no. Okay, our defensive coordinator and offensive coordinator is in the top four. Oh, excuse me. Uh, they went to three and four. Uh, excuse me for that. I did not mean to do that. <clears throat> we have nothing. Okay, bowl projections. Our bowl is supposed to be uh, the first. Oh, yeah, no, we don't even have a bowl game. We just had the first round. 
of the college football playoffs. So we have to beat Akron in this game and continue our winning streak. Definitely continue our winning streak. One hundred percent, ranked seventeenth in the or yeah in the country, um, just still pretty good. Welcome to what should be a fantastic. It sucks that I can't hear half of the things. This is a surprising matchup. The proverbial David versus Goliath, a ranked versus an unranked team. An opportunity to spring a major upset and build a legacy. As we'll see a team Yeah, it sucks that I can't hear uh, half the bowling of the game, but it's okay, I guess. The booth with Kirk Herb Street. I think we've talked long enough, Kirk. Let's get this game going. I'm so happy that the Bills beat the Chiefs last night. It was amazing. Honestly, I'm so happy. Um, let's start the MAC Championship against Akron. I guess we'll go with Stewart. Let's go, Stewart. It's been two weeks. Actually, well, it hasn't been two weeks since I've... Well, it's been two weeks since I've recorded an episode but it hasn't been two weeks since i played this game i was playing this game during my vacation so third and four right now let's go stewart oh come on that's not a good first drive um but defense comes in great on the ground it's Stewart. it's a one yard game second and nine coming up we're gonna have to pass here um i mean if mcneil no they're not gonna get open so right down the middle too just wonderful that's what we need is right down the middle Oh, that's going to be a... Dang, dude. Okay. Um, it's second and 10 at the 43. If Mc... I don't think McNeil can even... I guess we'll go right there. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. Will we have the first touchdown of the game? I don't know. Maybe Johnson can go. I think Johnson has it. Nope. Johnson does not have it. Uh, could Walker or McNeil get it? I don't know. I think McNeil has it. Yep. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. That is what I'm talking about. Seven to seven in the second quarter. Okay. Uh Stewart. Okay, Stewart. He only has thirteen rushing yards. Um but gave him a chance at a really nice game. Oh Walker. Walker. That might be a touchdown. Oh yeah, that's definitely a touchdown. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, Walker. We are unstoppable. Like, we cannot be stopped at all. But our defense is just letting them. It's 14 to 14 right now. I mean, Walker again. But he gets tackled. Okay. It sucks that he gets tackled, but. 
Oh, easy. Let's go. That's three touchdowns. Three touchdowns, dude. Three. That is insane. Oh, geez. We are at our six-yard line. Could Garcia somehow... I had to. It was, it was a scary throw, but I had to do it. Um, just a quick, easy throw. I mean, why not? Might as well, right? Is that Walker? I can't tell who that is. Yeah, I can't tell who that is, but sweet. Four touchdowns in the third quarter. Um, for 311 passing yards so far. We might get subbed out here. <laughs> who knows? Oh, go, Stewart. Go. Hey, what a... Great run, honestly. That was great. Uh, oh, wow. Wow. Dude, we are so good. We are actually amazing. We have five touchdowns right now, which is insane. Five touchdowns. Okay, we're at our four-yard line, so this is pretty scary. Hey, Stewart. Stewart. Thank you, Stewart. Come on, Stewart. Go. Okay. Get the first down. That's all that matters. We have the first down. Walker could get this. Who knows? Uh, oh. I think he could get that. Oh, yeah, he has that. That's a touchdown. That's a touchdown. That is what I'm talking about, dude. That is what I'm talking about. Six touchdowns. Wow. Um, surprised we haven't got um, subbed out yet. Come on, Stewart. Okay. Um, we're at the 42 now, which is great. Oh, right down the middle. Stiff-armed. Wow. Pretty good, honestly. That's what I'm talking about. Did he catch that? He caught that. There's no shot he caught that. First and goal at the three. Hold up, can I like... Holy crap, dude. Hold up. Um... So it was to McNeil. Whoa, hold up. Yo, he one-handed that. He literally one-handed that. Yo. Huh. That's insane. He one-handed that too. That's crazy. Okay. That's pretty cool. I guess we'll go Stewart with a touchdown if he can. He does get the touchdown. That's Good. That's actually really good. I'm surprised. I think it's been a. I don't think he got a touchdown last game. Yeah, no. He might have actually. Second and eleven. Let's go with the passing play. Yeah. Walker. Oh. I think he. I think he's beating both of them, dude. 
Oh yeah, that's a touchdown. Easily, dude. 55 to 14, dude. Holy crap. Oh my god. Dude, that's insane. That is literally insane. That's crazy. Bro, seven touchdown pat uh seven touchdowns. Dude, that's insane. Okay, now they're subbing me out. Now they had to sub me out because I was just too good. Um I was just too good. Walker had five receiving touchdowns, dude. That's insane. That is literally insane. Um... I was not expecting that. Wow. Okay, let's just let's just see these stats. Okay, I just really want to see these stats um and just see how good we like i know how good we did but i just want to see how like actually okay so we had 540 passing yards for seven touchdowns okay 82 percent completion now rushing stewart had 93 yards for a touchdown receiving Walker had six receptions for five touchdowns. McNeil had a touchdown. Garcia had a touchdown. So pretty much we used every receiver, I believe. Far more. I mean, we didn't use thick pin, but that's fine. But we really used, like, a lot. Let's check how defense was. Because, yes, they allowed two touchdowns, but they never allowed a single touchdown after that. Which is insane. Was there any interceptions? No, no interceptions. Two and a half sacks for McNeil. Garrison McNeil. Wait, do we have two McNeils on the team? Yeah, we do. I forgot about that. We have two McNeils on the team, which is crazy. Williams with one. Miles with one. Branch Hines with one. Or a half, I mean. Who had the most total? Oh, never mind. Um, they've, Actually, no. They scored three touchdowns. My bad. I didn't, I didn't see that they scored another touchdown. Uh, but yeah, their only two touchdowns happened in the fourth or in the second quarter, and then the, the, their final touchdown was in the fourth, which is insane. We scored seven in the 21, 28, and three. That is insane, dude. Oh my god. It is actually like insane. Um, uh, obviously we're a QB1, we're always going to be a QB1, possibly, um, but sweet, we're MAC champions, that's amazing, we're 13-0, and great, this is a great team, honestly, can we get three skill points, I don't think that's going to get us anything, but, hey, Don, uh, Dante Waiters, Coach of the Year. Let's go. Mike Robinson, Broyles Award, Coordinator of the Year. Okay. And then he won the Heisman. I was first team all MAC. Okay. Or 4,000 yards and 43 touchdowns. Let's go. Bowling Green versus Michigan. So, wait, we moved up then, right? We had to have moved up. Because we were going to go against Clemson. So, yeah. 
Um, playoff. Yeah, the college football play. No, we're still 12th, but somehow Clemson moves up to the first, which is crazy. They were number five, and then now they're first. Yeah, they were fifth, and now they're first, which doesn't make any sense. So it's Clemson, Texas A&M, Penn State, Kansas State, then Michigan, UC, or USC, then Oregon, then Georgia, then Ohio State, then Florida State, then Texas, then Bowling Green. Yeah. Um, which is crazy. I can't believe we had over 4,000 passing yards in a season. Uh, that's actually amazing. 4,054 passing yards, 43 touchdowns. We could have won the Heisman if our interceptions were down. Like, a lot. I've actually been looking at some of the teams that I've been wanting to... I'm going to actually... Like, I know the team now that I want to join in my junior season. Yeah. I know the team I want to join in my junior season. Next episode, obviously, we're going to just be looking at some stuff for the like the next nine minutes. Because next episode, we're going, to win, we're going against Michigan in the college football playoffs. Um, which is amazing. So we're still number 17th in the country out of 25. Re realistically, we should be third because we're 13 and 0 or maybe even first. We should be first because there's only 13 or two 13 and 0 teams and that's Texas A&M and Bowling Green. Those are the only 13 and 0 teams. I don't know how I'm still the 17th ranked um but so in the conference they are seven and one. It's got to be win percentage, right? I mean, in the MAC we have a perfect win percentage. Uh, we're eight and zero in our conference. We beat everyone. We beat Akron twice, actually. We beat Central Michigan, Western Michigan, Eastern Michigan. We beat all the Michigan teams, and we're about to go against another Michigan team. So, uh, we didn't go against Michigan State. So, but we beat Central, Western, and Eastern. We beat Toledo, Ball State, Miami University. North Illinois, Ohio, Kent State, and Buffalo. But yeah, definitely chosen the team that I want to play for next season. So. so let's check every single team who's first in their conference. So Clemson, and then Tulane. In the Big 12, it's Kansas State. Big 10, it's Penn State. And CUSA is Sam Houston. Well, wait, that's weird. Why is... Hmm, okay, that's weird. But realistically, it's Western. Western Kentucky. F FBS Independence is, it would be UConn. And then... NAC is obviously Bowling Green. MWC is Boise State. Dang, Nevada went 1-11. Pac-12 is Oregon. Actually, it would be Washington State. Um, since, they, since the Washington State Cougars lost in the conference with... Yeah, wait, why is there only two teams in the Pac-12? Yeah, why is there only two teams in the Pac-12? That's weird. Okay, but the SEC is Texas A&M. The Sun Belt is Arkansas State. The Sun Belt East is whatever, how you say that. 
actually it would be Georgia Southern. Um, if we're going by the least, win, or the least law lo- like the least losses, I guess. And then Sunbelt West would be Arkansas State. Uh, actually, never mind. It would be Louisiana. But that's everyone's record right now. Um, obviously, full matchups. You got Arkansas versus Pitt, Akron versus Appalachian, I guess, Tulane versus Miami. I don't know how to say that, so don't even question me. Uh, you have Tulane versus Miami, UCF versus Louisiana, Rice versus Texas Tech, Boston College versus Illinois, LSU versus Cincinnati, Oklahoma State versus Colorado State, SMU versus East Carolina. Georgia Southern versus Sam Houston, Texas versus UCF, USC. Oh my God, I, I always say that one wrong. I don't know why. Western Kentucky versus Boise State, Ohio State versus Georgia, Central Michigan versus Southern Mississippi, Western Michigan versus Texas State, Wisconsin versus San Jose State, South Alabama versus UTSA, obviously Bowling Green versus Michigan, Florida State versus Oregon, Arizona versus UCLA. Notre Dame versus UConn, NC State versus Florida Atlantic, Washington State versus Fresno State, Jacksonville State versus Kennesaw State, Nebraska versus Liberty, Florida International versus New Mexico, Temple versus Colorado, BYU versus Syracuse, San Diego State versus Middle Tennessee, Utah versus Carolina, California, I mean, in the Pop Tart Bowl, um, Charlotte versus UCF. Tulsa versus South Carolina, Clemson versus someone, Arkansas versus Oklahoma, Penn State versus someone in the Rose Bowl, Texas A&M versus someone in the Sugar Bowl, Kansas State versus someone in the Cotton Bowl, Alabama versus Wake Forest, North Carolina versus Florida, Virginia Tech versus Kentucky, TCU versus Air Force, and Mississippi State versus Maryland. Now, out of all of these teams, the one I... Literally, the team that I'm going into my junior season, I've already said it. And you just guys, you guys have to figure out what team it is. It's not going to be a five-star team. It's not going to be like Alabama, Georgia, Texas. It's not going to be Oregon. You know, all those huge teams. That might be for my senior season, but for my junior season... I've already seen it like three or four times, so it's just up to you guys to figure out what team do you think I'm going to go to. Okay, um, that was a lot of teams, but yeah, next episode we're going to be going against Michigan in the college football playoffs, so... We have points per game, passing yards per game, and rushing yards per game. Impact player, Trent Walker with 36 catches, 1,100 receiving yards, and 13 touchdowns. Obviously, Michigan is the better team overall. They have a better defense, a better offense, and just a better overall. In general. Oh, man, I'm tired. But, yeah. Let's see some of the scores from week 15. Okay, National Navy beat Army by a point. American, uh, I guess there's only, okay, I guess, never mind. Let's go to week 14 then. Okay. So, we'll go ACC. North Carolina loses to NC State. Georgia Tech loses to Georgia. Virginia loses for, to Virginia Tech. Holy crap. Um, okay, Louisville loses to Kentucky. Duke loses to California. SMU loses to Miami. Pitt loses to Boston College. 
South Carolina loses to Clemson. Notre Dame loses to Stanford. And Florida loses to Florida State, 63-35. to Wow. American, okay. UAB loses. Army loses. Tulane loses. Uh, Navy lost. North Texas lost. Memphis lost. Tulane lost. Or Tulsa lost. Um, Big 12. Iowa State lost. Baylor lost. West Virginia lost. Kansas lost. BYU lost. Houston lost. Arizona State lost. Okay, Big 10. Iowa lost. Northwestern lost. Ohio State lost. Michigan State lost. Washington lost. Minnesota lost. Penn State lost. UCLA lost. Purdue Purdue lost. Okay. M- Middle Tennessee lost. UTEMP lost. Jacksonville State lost. Western Kentucky lost. And the Liberty lost. Now, in the MAC, obviously, Eastern Michigan lost. Akron lost. Okay. But if you guys enjoyed this video, please hit the subscribe button. It would honestly really mean a lot. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.